Okay, everyone, welcome back to Critics News. The update is endless. We make sure that we leave no stone unturned and to keep you abreast with the latest information and things going on in Nigeria. As there is so much tension now about the end bad governance protest around the country. Remember that the southeastern part of the country, which is uh, dominated by Igbos, have refused to join in this very protest. Reasons because of the scapegoat that they have made to be in the country since time immemorial. Why the place needed to be calm, they say that the activities of unknown men have set the uh, community of Imo State ablaze. Let me take you to Imo State and show you what's going on there. Information reaching us says that about 10 persons have been killed by unknown gunmen. They said that the governor himself, which is Governor Hope, also the, man, the man you have in the picture here, has fled the um, government house because of the heavy shooting that happened in that very community. I'll be briefing you fully on everything that transpired there so you get to know all and how it happened. Those of you from Imo State, don't forget to share this video. We have been talking about it that this pipeline of people, the killings of people, innocent people or whatever, we draw the southeast back from development because people will be scared to invest. Now, not forgetting last time when uh, Ubi Kubana invested in, is it Abuja or Lagos, where they say that they will be coupling Keke Marwa. A lot of Igbos came out on social media and was condemning the act, saying that he has a place where he hails from, that he should have brought the investment to home. But when things like these are happening up and down, do you think that people like that who want to come home with a place where there is so much kidnapping, insecurity, and the loss of lives on daily basis? Let me know your opinion through the comment section. Let's get into it and find out. Then I'll play you the video so you see for yourself. Now, unknown gunmen Q10. He says that some gunmen on Saturday evening shot dead 10 people in Umuchoki Okwe community in Onu Imo local government area of Imo state. Sosi said the victims were having a village meeting when the hoodlums stormed the location and shot everyone on site. They said that it was a village meeting. So as it is now, we don't know whether uh, them be the village people where they worry some people. Nobody is aware. Because I know vividly that some of these people in villages, some of you people, some of you way don't advance, some of you at uh, 70, 80 years, say 60, all you do is to conspire against the young people. All you do is to, to find a way to drag land that doesn't have anything to do with you. Do you see some of the consequences? Why they were having meetings, Onongo men stormed the area and cleared them. It is true, Onongo men attacked Umuchoke Okwe today and killed over 10 people. They stormed a meeting involving the President General of the community and some community heads and shot everyone. A resident of the community told the cable this news. I couldn't count how many of them were at the meeting, but I am sure they were more than 10 persons. I heard that the gathering was for the forthcoming councillorship election of the community. It was uncertain if the president general of the community was among those who were shot dead. As some residents said, he went inside his house to bring Kola North for his guests when the attackers struck. Umuchoki Okwe community is the country home of Chief Ralph Owazurike, the leader of the movement for the actualization of the state of Biafra, which is Masob, sovereign state of Biafra, Masob. 
Harry Okoye, spokesperson of the Imo State Police Command, confirmed the incident to the cable on Saturday evening. This is very unfortunate. The command is saddened by this tragic incident. Investigation is ongoing to unravel the miscreants responsible for this dastardly act and make them face the full wrath of the law, Okoye said. This is happening in Imo State. People know they feel drink water drop cup again. And there is no peace in the southeast as I speak to you. Let me take you to the video section so you see and hear from the police and other security agencies, even including the commissioner, Aboki Danjuma, who paid a courtesy visit to the community to commiserate with them. He also said that uh, Hope Ozodema was not happy over the incident because he had to jump fence and run away from his government house. Let's say, nah, Tinubu, nah, I don't go who. I beg go, I beg go. Something is happening in most state. What is going on here? I remember vividly that Hope Ozodema was also running to Abuja during the tenor of President Muhammad Mbuari. Let's watch the video. But before we do that, please, uh, do, 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 let me remind you, in case you want to send money to Nigeria, please use tap, tap, send. Come on, guys. Use tap, tap, send. Patronize me. And um, also use my promo code, which is Critics News. That's all you can do for me. And the good thing about this thing that I've been talking about every day, which some of you have refused to do, is that they are going to add five pounds extra on your money that they are sending for you. Five dollars. Mm -mm. Five euro for those in Europe. Ten dollars for those in U.S. and Canada. And 25 AED for those in Dubai. You get the point now. Yeah, so there's no need for you to fear. No be why you, no be anything. So watch the video here on how it happened. Let the... Some murder of seven persons by gunmen in Umucheke community in Okwe, Onumu, a uh, local government area of Imo State. The joint security operatives led by the Commissioner of Police, Danjuma Aboki, have visited the scene of the incident and commiserated with the villagers and families of those affected. The Commissioner of Police says the command, in conjunction with other security agencies, are working tirelessly to ensure that the perpetrators are apprehended and made to face the full wrath of the law. He says the security operatives will remain in the community to forestall any further breakdown of law and order. In the meantime, the sole administrator of the local government area who received the police commissioner and his team says the governor is saddened over the incident and asking security operatives to ensure the perpetrators have brought the book. Just like the CP uh, said, it was a devastating uh, news yesterday. I was somewhere at the opening around uh, 5 in the evening, and when the uh, set of vigilante people called me, that uh, intimated me about the what happened. So I rushed down. But on getting here, they, they advised me to, and eventually, when we came here, we saw, we saw this uh, uh, gory sight. It is so devastating. Everybody is mourning. The state, the governor is not happy. And he has directed efforts at all uh, owners to ensure that those who perpetrated this dust at the ads should be unedited and brought to book. And the CP is here. I think that is part of the order that he has come to recruit. I want to assure our people to see the law abiding. To be about their normal businesses. I am here with them. As they are weeping, all of us are weeping. The security operatives agencies are weeping. Just as the governor and the government of Imo State. It is, it is, we, we have not had this before. Imo has been a very peaceful place. And, we will, and because of this tragic event, we will not rest. The government will not rest. Uh, and I know that our community leaders uh, are available to assist security agencies to do their job. We are here in Omocheke. That is the headquarters of Onuimo local government. They seem where senseless killings took place last night. All the security agencies are here. We have the military, Nigerian security, civil defense corps, the police. The sole administrator of the local government is basically here. We came to commiserate with the villagers and ensure them that we are here to protect. Presently, the security agencies 
in conjunction with the hunters there in the forest hunting for the gunmen that committed this heinous uh, crime. And I'm assuring the, uh, the villagers that we are going to stay short detachment of security agency here in the village to protect the nation. All right, all right, all right, all right. I believe so. And I don't see them. We are the Nigerian army, police, and all of them are promising that they are going to stay put in that very village to forestall law and order and make sure that such incident does not repeat itself. And I was wondering, my God, 10 people, 10, 10, 10, more than 10, according to the information. Oh, God. Ah, Southeast will never remain the same again. Mm. Let me tell you, this is, I don't know. Let me know your opinion, guys. Let me know your opinion. Now, last time, uh, we also saw, uh, uh, what do you call it? We saw where uh, they said that um, uh, the, some government also attacked, uh, um, who, um, is it uh, government vehicles and burnt them? So I was like, which government vehicle was that? And I saw it. It was... Uh, a truck that they use in throwing away the tea, you know, those kind of things. That's what we saw. So we, we, I was like, hmm, this truck is used to, you know, uh, dispose waste. So who is gaining here? Who is losing? You realize that um, the person who will lose more are the, the, the locals. They are the people that will lose more. Uh -huh, you understand? They are the people who will lose more. When when the the truck that is uh, disposing waste is burnt, I'm not sure whether our people are going to you know have another truck anytime soon to dispose their waste. So some of these uh, actions are still affecting us negatively. Let me know what you guys think about it. All right, I'll see you people on the next uh, video. I was trying to get uh, that uh, particular video, but I couldn't find it. I didn't find it to oh, you do that. For this country, <laughs> government officials on that on the loot money sha and the loot money. Beg. They should tell us what happened to Lele. See, see, our problem in this country now, number one, the price of fuel. Because if fuel comes down, everything will drastically come down. Exactly. Let them fix fuel and loin loin. That's the reason why I'm here. Fuel and loin loin. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. So, some people are protesting because of loi loi and fuel. Tinubu, you don't hear her. So that's one of the demands of one of the protesters. And this is very easy to cure. This is very easy. This government is just being wicked. Just loi 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 loi. Ah, Tinobu, na no try at all. Oh. Na wah.